there is the whistle and pushing back is Callum McKenzie for Great Britain there's a really nervous feel about the stadium plenty of supporters for Great Britain here watching the team in action as Wallop who's certainly been one of the standout players for Great Britain in this tournament and what I actually like that they're doing this time around is they're going to have a team of the tournament rather than necessarily the best player or the best goalkeeper they're going to have the best 11 players in their various positions and I think that makes it really interesting it's also great to see because it means that players who have had outstanding tournaments but maybe been in a losing team get a chance to stake their claim for a place in the team of the tournament Walla you would think would be an absolute shoe in along with Dilpreet up front for India Directed pass, maybe a little bit of tension in the arms of Pratap Lakra. He's been fairly solid for India at the back. Look at Prasad, their captain, has been really influential in the midfield. Reminds me a lot of Manpreet Singh, the current captain of India. Just the way his demeanour and the way he plays on the pitch, even at times his running style is very similar as well. Of course. Manpreet's wife hails from these parts and she's been here supporting India and wearing an Indian shirt. Just pushed out wide by Eddie Waite, slipping his Sutcliffe. that helps it forward a really good lead coming from Nicholas Park who had a good game the last outing for Great Britain against Japan Park was very busy in that area it's a long corner now for Great Britain Sawsby celebrating his birthday this will be the day I'm sure he'll never forget if they get a good victory over India today Page feeds it out to Walla Walla looking to take on Dilpreet Dilpreet sticks with him and just pokes the ball over the side across the D it goes from Pavis but nobody there to get a deflection even remotely close to goal from Great Britain on the reverse plays it into the D that looked to ricochet that's who is Pratap Lakra Sanjay waiting at the first batch with Vivek Prasad to do the stop in Menindra at the second it comes in Sanjay didn't look as if he was ready easy save to Chris Weifer just right down the middle Sanjay was still having a talk when the whistle went and the ball was injected so just think that they were a little bit caught off guard Great Britain trying to find a way down the flank Bloomfield with a good run towards the edge of the D but the decision goes against him the line Sukji gets a little bit of space on the reverse but to lift it into the deep and lifted it too high Bloomfield but decides to go back to his captain Waller Waller's pass is collected by Page Page puts it into the D ricocheted up off Sukji and just played into the feet of Suman Beck by Zach Wallace and a run out of place Sukji just letting it run face from Mandeep Moore Mandeep Moore shaped to pass sold a brilliant dummy to Salisbury into the D it goes Harmanjeet got it in the back of the goal another penalty corner has been given and Harmanjeet was in mid celebration when he really seconds left it's a good stop fired towards goal and it's a good save by Wifer to prevent 5-3 they've got four players playing from that game in this match as into the D come Great Britain looking to lay it back good steal being made by Sanjay now it's Mandeep Moore trying to edge it away from the baseline up to the side he goes and he just lays it back and it'll be thrown long and high Sawsby gets his stick up stops it on half pass but to his fellow Welshman Francis Francis though forced down into the corner Francis brilliant skills from him and it's a penalty corner into the foot of Pratap Lakra well played Ben Francis so the and still shift again Sawsby stops, Way sweeps, goes into the first run. It did come back to Scott, hit the foot again. And it was clearly another penalty corner. So Golden now has gone to the first battery. Way to the second, it's a mistrap again. 
by Great Britain, pushed to the side. Golden was looking for another foot, and he's done very well. Got a bully. Oh, we don't often see that Sawsby deciding to play on and wins the penalty corner, and Britain's way. Golden and Way. It will be stopped by Wallace. Way sweeps, deflection is in. And it is Sawsby who gets a goal on his birthday. This will be good play to Park. Park turn from him was good. It's a good run into the center of the D, but the ball never got there to McKenzie. Free hit again, played on quickly. Spin was there into the D. It's just clipped the foot, so it'll be another penalty corner and India again. Uh, pleading that the umpires confer. I'm sure that they already have. Ben Hocking was in. And Waller looks to be, sorry, not Waller, Wallace looks to be the sole stopper. Will they go for another Sawsby deflection? Sawsby goes in, it comes up off Wallace's stick. Was though, was maybe one of the England players ran into the circle before the ball was injected and it looked as if that player was actually Nicholas Park because he got sent to the halfway line. Don't see that very often. Sawsby traps. Ways sweep is blocked well by the says plumbing and heating. Delivering quality projects on time and within budget major industrial products projects rather. Into the D it goes. There was a goal. Well that was touched and Weifert let it run. All the way to Mandeep Moore. Short pass from him to Pratap Lakra. He'll slap it into the D, looking for the deflection again. Ricochet up off Zach Wallace. Just under three minutes left in this first half. Can India find a winner? And there's a little bit of pushing and shoving inside the D. Roshan Kumar and Zach Wallace are the two players going to be... Sp Most of that because USA have conceded 70 goals in their four matches so far. No whistle. And I have to say I agree... Waller, who says he loves hockey as it incorporates skill and physicality as well as team play as well. Ricochets again off the foot of Harmanjeet. Harmanjeet having to re retire the five meters. Way to Waller. Wallace short pass forward is another good one to Golden. Golden looking to get around the back of the Indian defense and make his way along the baseline. He's won a long corner for Great Britain. And again, India just stopping the ball getting to Great Britain's player. Just outside the D, and a little bit of arguing going on amongst the Indian players there. I don't think that went five metres. And if it goes in, well, it doesn't, so it won't be an issue. But with so much time, goes to Sutcliffe, who's just again ghosted into that space as Wallace gets the shot away. It was a good challenge and a good block from Vishal Antil. Long corner. In it goes, good deflection in front of the keeper. Good save as well. And Scott looks up, he appreciates their efforts. And I'm sure that they feel that him achieving at this level is just reward for all that support. Here come Great Britain again into the D. They go, and it's good work by Francis. Wins a penalty corner. And there's going to be another cut. Waiting at the top of the circle. Way at the first battery. It goes to him. He sweeps it low. It's a good save. And Waller was trying to just get the rebound, but it ricocheted up off Rajak. So it will be another penalty corner for India to defend. Great Britain's sixth of the match. Waller again goes down to inject. Wallace is the stopper. Scott at the second battery. Sure they'll go with Way once more. They do. Stopped well. Low down again. Waller came in looking for the rebound. And I think Rajak has a point. I thought that actually hit the lens until the whistle will blow. They shift. Stopped. And it's a little backdoor pass, way set, shoots, Pankaj Rajak saves, but Waller sweeps it home. It was unconvincing. Mandy. 